it's pretty much the same as everybody's, you know, initial, where where you realize that they are um, not doing, they're they're not themselves anymore, and you start to realize, you know, they get, they get very good at hiding things. It's really, and because you're typically not around them as much, uh, it it really is. They're like. Our, one of our first things that happened was that one of my sons was riding with her to go to mass and um, realized that she tried to turn on turn the blinker on and hit the windshield wipers and didn't really it didn't register with her and so he told us that later and then um, other things similar to that uh, slipping just slipping and then uh, my father had Parkinson's at this time and, and died of Parkinson's. And I think after his death, she really started going downhill. I mean, she really, and you start to notice with, with hygiene, with um, nutrition, uh, things that she had always done, things that were set in strange places around the house. Um, it, it just just things like that, you know, just kind yeah, of this. Yeah, so you, I would, before my parents were really kind of in it, uh, you and I would talk, and you, y'all, you and your brothers and sisters were under a, uh, some pressure to let her live independently, but also acknowledge. Oh, that she, she threatened was, us with our lives yeah. if we and tried I to move her out. Of it. And she we, was it was the same sense. house we grew up in. I mean, it was. Um, we moved in in 1966, I think, and that a house that they built. So she didn't want to move at all. Yeah, it was very stressful. She didn't want caregivers coming in, and and every step of the way it was a fight. It was a fight, and I was pretty much the one on the front line. You know, most families, if you have a lot of siblings, and and pretty much everybody was living in the state. We we've come, some have come and gone, but um, it just made the most sense. That's one of the reasons why I left TV because my father was sick, my mother-in-law was sick, and my mom was on this the brink of this, but. Um, it just became apparent that I was the best equipped as far as, you know, economically and, and you know, just from a standpoint of having my su support system, it made the most sense for me to go ahead and just kind of step up. And, and I have no regrets. It was very hard, but I had a lot of support from my family, and it was just kind of a, you know, it, it, it's every day is a new blank page, and you just kind of one foot in front of the other and do the best you can yeah. to you. Well, two, two key things I said, you've got to be in front of it. You have to be in front of, you know, y you don't want to wait for that crisis moment to stop and say, okay. Crisis management, right? You what are we going to do? You need to be in front of it and say, you know, there are certain things you know that are going to happen, and one of them is you're going to have to move into a facility. A lot of the facilities have waiting lists. So we started that process before we ever even got her out of the house and started looking at facilities around town that would be appropriate for her, um, close to our homes and so forth and so on, affordable, that's a big part of it. Um, and then we'd get on a waiting list. I mean, the worst that can happen is they call you and say, you know, we now have an opening and you just say, we're not, re we're not there, go ahead and go to the next person on the list. Mm -hmm. I mean, because you don't wanna be you know, months away if you suddenly hit that moment and then you're scrambling and then it's it's just stress you don't need. You you want to have this discussion with your siblings, your spouse, your, you know, who, whoever, your close friends and, and try to figure out if you know you're going down that road, you need to, you need to have a plan. Um, the other thing I think I told you is try to have a sense of humor about it. Try not to, I mean, you, it, it's so heartbreaking. It can be so heartbreaking to watch um, somebody fade. Right. But also, uh, I think, you know, whatever your situation is, it's very difficult, especially if it's your first parent that's going through this, or friend, or spouse, or whomever, to um, take on a different role. I mean, there's a tipping point where you're no longer the child and suddenly you're the adult mm -hmm. and they become the child. Your, your mom thinks you're her sister. My mom would have me, want me to call her parents or you know, some, some little piece of furniture I'd brought into her room, she would tell me her mom brought that for her. 
Right. And I'm like, oh, that's great. I think the most important thing is to keep them comfortable, remove as much um, fear from them as you possibly can, fear of the unknown, routine is big, uh, same people, same places. Yeah. Um, anything that you introduce, they, they love routine. Any, any new thing that's introduced, be very um, uh, patient. Yeah, them. and you know that. They're good at hiding things. Just be aware if looking at what's in the refrigerator, looking at what's in the cupboard, looking at, you know, what their laundry situation is, have their towels not been used, have they not bathed in a long time. Some of those things are very predictable um, where they just, it, it's, I don't understand it, we can't understand it, but you start to realize that all of that is slipping. And that's when you really need to kick into high gear and start really making plans. And I'm glad you brought that up because that's one point that I wanted to talk about because it hit me very hard and I wasn't expecting it after her death. Is it so all consuming that when that time does come and your loved one passes on, be prepared for the void. Be, pr you know, because it's, it's suddenly this huge black hole in your life because you've dedicated so much time and devoted so much concern and it's been so much of your life and in your situation you know you're with her 24 hours a day that when she does pass on it's going to hit you and and you'll get through it but you just have to be aware that that is going to be a part of what happens on the tail end of this.